Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this really simple but satisfying to watch um, abstract loop. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, just about 10 minutes of your time and the steps I'm going to go through should be relatively simple to follow. Uh, yeah, on with the tutorial. So once you've got Blender open, we're going to hit A, then X and just delete everything and start fresh. So hit Shift A, add a mesh and we're going to add a plane and we're going to scale it up to 8. So hit S, then 8. Hit tab to go into edit mode. So come up here to edge and hit subdivide and we're going to subdivide this by 30. Now come back to edge and we're going to hit edge split. Now if you come out of edit mode, so hit tab again, come into your modifier section here and we're going to add a modifier. We are going to add a smooth modifier. Now you can play around with this factor to um, affect the size of the edge split, but we're going to pop it to about 1.79. Now add a new modifier and we're going to add a solidify modifier and we're going to bring the thickness up to about here. Now we're going to add one more modifier and that's going to be a displace modifier. Now the hierarchy is quite important with the displace modifier so you want to make sure it's at the top. So this one with the triangles, just click on this arrow, scroll up, click on it again and make sure that displace is at the top. Add a new texture and we're going to come down here to our texture settings and we're going to change the type to wood and it's going to look really ugly but we're gonna have some fun with this in a bit. So next step is to hit Shift A, add an empty, and we're gonna add an empty cube. Now we're gonna animate this cube quickly. So if you bring the timeline up, this is gonna be a 30 second animation. So if we're at 24 frames per second, this is gonna be 120 frames long for a five second clip. Now we're gonna animate this cube here. So just hide that plane quickly. If you come to your location settings, add a keyframe on frame one on the Z axis. So apply keyframe here. I'll bring it to frame one to one, change that to 360 and apply keyframe and we're going to get, we're going to see the cube spins on the Z axis and it's a seamless loop. Just make sure that you hit A, T and ensure that your interpolation is set to linear, otherwise you're going to get it, it's, you're going to see it stops towards the end. Bring your plane back up, so on, click on the eye here. So what we're going to do with this empty here, we are going to use it to essentially modulate the displacement of the mesh using the texture that we've applied to it. So what we do is we go onto a plane and you want to come to your modifier sections and on the display settings on this little box texture coordinate, change this to object and you want to assign that to your empty. Now, when you hit play, you'll see that it moves along with the empty. So that is obviously way too strong so we are going to go to the plane back to the displacement section and we're gonna we're gonna drop the strength down to 0 0.1 now if you just scale the empty up this makes the displacement a bit more subtle and what this is basically doing if you look if you come to your texture settings on your plane if you come here you can see that this pattern is exactly this is pretty much the same as what you see on the mesh. So the um, the displacement modifier is essentially reading the black and white data on this texture and it's applying it to this mesh. And what you're doing with this empty is you're actually you're essentially rotating this texture on the displacement. So if I hit play, you'll see it spins with the cube uh, as if this texture was spinning. Uh, so you can do some really interesting stuff with this. What we're actually going to do here is we're going to go back to our empty and go to your location settings and I'm going to add another rotation on the Y axis. So come to the start and apply keyframe on Y. Come to one to one and do the same again, 360. And we'll apply keyframe there. And it's going to change the, uh, the way it moves a bit. Now it's obviously still very strong. So we're going to scale the empty up to 36. So just hit S and bring that up until about here. And it's a lot, it's a lot more subtle now. It looks a lot more, uh, it was going a bit crazy earlier. This is a lot nicer to work with for what we're trying to do. Now, next step, we are going to duplicate this plane. So click on the plane, hit Shift D, and that's going to duplicate the objects. Just set it there and just come to your modifier of this new plane, bring the thickness down 
or up, shall I say, because it's already in the negative. So we're going to bring it to 0 0.01. So we have these cubes. Now if you hit G and then Z, we're going to bring this up to say about five ish. And now we have some cool cubes that are sort of dancing on top of these, uh, these abstract stick things. And it looks really cool. So now that that's done, we just need to set the camera up. So we deleted the camera earlier. So just hit shift A and we're going to add a new one. So just add a camera, navigate around the viewport till you find a spot that you like. If you hold shift, you can move the camera around like that. So yeah, once you find a spot you like, just hit control alt and zero. And that will set the camera in the place in your 3D viewport. You can then also move around as you like just by hitting G and just uh, obviously dragging the camera around. And you can also adjust the focal length as well. Uh, just come to your camera settings here. You can bring this in if you want it more wide or if you want to zoom it in a bit more, you can increase the focal length. But I'm going to leave it as 50. I think I'm going to rotate it down a bit as well. You can pull your shift and if you want to rotate it down or if you want to rotate it that way, you can do that as well. Great, that's looking really cool. Uh, I'm just going to come to the modifier section of this and bring it in a tiny bit. So I'm going to do 0 0.0075 just to flatten it out a bit and make it a bit more cube shaped. And I'm going to just, just save before you go into random mode. And I'm just going to call this abstract grass to... Now we're going to start shading this. So if you come into random mode, hit Z and then 8. Okay, so it's looking very dull right now. So first thing I'm going to do is add some emission to these cubes. So if you come over here to your material settings, click on this one. I'm just going to rename this cubes. So click on your cubes, add a new material, and we're going to add an emission shader. So change that to emission, and we're going to make it a nice deep blue. And we're going to pop strength to eight. Now we're going to make the world black. So come over here to your world settings, change that to black. Now click on your other plane come to the material settings, add a new material, and we're gonna make this a bit reflective. So we're gonna darken this a little bit, pump the metallic all the way up, and we're gonna bring the roughness down to about 0.3. Now we're gonna just take the overlays off. So just come over here. This gives us a more accurate representation and you can see the light isn't reflecting. So we are going to go over here Tick ambient inclusion, bloom, screen space reflections, and motion blur. And we're going to bring the bloom down to about about here. Add a bit more reflection to this. Bring the roughness all the way down on that. And go back to your render engine settings. We are in Eevee, by the way. Um, we're going to go down here. I'm just going to change the color management to very high contrast and we're going to drop the gamma down to about 0.9 see how that looks just add a bit of depth to the world as well so rather than just make it black I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to come to my shader editor I'm going to bring that in and you're going to come to this menu here change it to world and I'm going to texture this a bit so at, hit shift A we're going to add a color ramp plug that in add a Voronoi texture and plug that in Let's plug the color into the fact of the color ramp change this to a nice dark blue make it really dark and we'll make this We'll bring the black in a bit more and bring the dark blue in and play around with the Voronoi texture. Maybe make this a little bit darker. Now I'm going to just get rid of that. Right, we're pretty. I'm going to wrap that up there. There's obviously more you can do with it, but I think that looks pretty cool. Only thing left to do now is to render the animation. So if you come to your output properties, just save it somewhere you can find it. So I've got a little folder called Blender Renders and I'm gonna make sure your file format is FFmpeg video. Come down to encoding and you wanna make sure the container is MPEG4. 
video codec H264, put that to perceptually lossless, and just come up here, hit render, and render animation, and then you just gotta wait for it to finish. Right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. As you can see, it's quite a satisfying render to watch. If you did like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you do want to download this render or just look at the project file, um, I've put it up on my website. That's nebmotion.co.uk.